applying liquid lips can be really challenging because it get really messy really quickly. So I'm here to show you how to do it. So before you apply your liquid lip, you want to make sure that your lips are primed and prepped. For me, I do this before every single lipstick application. The first thing I do is I go in with a lip scrub. This is the lip scrub from Sarah Half. It's the blueberry one. It smells so good. It just smells so good and it tastes good because it's sugar. But if you don't have a lip scrub of your own, you could just make one really quick. Just grab some sugar or salt or both. Either one will work because both are abrasive and will get off the dead skin cells. Add some oil, your preference, whichever one you like, and there's your lip scrub. So you just grab like a little, little bit, like a pea-sized amount. I go back and forth. And then I also do circular motions on the areas that I'm more chapped, which is usually my lower lip. And since most lip scrubs have oil, and if you add oil to yours, it will be moisturizing at the same time, so you don't need to go in with the chapstick later. And then I like to go in with a lip plumper. I use the Too Faced Lip Injections Extreme. I love this one. I think it's pretty intense. And I do this just so my lips are like a little plumper, it just gets the circulation going. You whip it off because it is a glossy texture and it will disrupt the liquid lip on top of it. So I want to start with a clean, empty base for my liquid lip. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line my lips. I'm just going to overline them just a little bit, not to make them too fake looking, but to give a little bit more volume to my lips and make them look a little more plump. So for the bottom lip, I start on the outer corner and I work my way towards the middle. So I just go right outside that natural lip line. And then on the top, I start in the middle of the cupid's bow and work my way out towards the corner of the mouth. So when you pick a lip liner color, you want to choose one in the same shade range as the lipstick you're using. You can go lighter or darker, both will give you more dimension to the lip. But you can use a dark one to contour the lips as well. So I use the MAC Spice Lip Liner to line my lips, but since it's not darker than the lipstick I'm going to use, I'm going to just go in with a darker lip color to show you how to contour your lips. I don't do this all the time, I hardly do it, but I'm just going to show you for fun. So the first line you can make is right down the middle of the bottom lip. like so and this will give you an illusion of a double lobed lip which is very in looking and then you can do this line right here and this line right here When you line your lips, you don't need to make it look perfect just yet. Then go in with the Winky Lux Liquid Lip in the shade Cookie. The unicorn is so gorgeous. It has all these flowers on it and stuff. And then the packaging on the liquid lip is actually super cute as well. And I don't know if you can see, but it has all these ice cream cones on it. So when I apply liquid lipstick, I do the same process as the lip liner. I start at the outer corner and work towards the middle. And then on the top lip, I start in the middle and work out. So the top lip can get a little tricky since it isn't just a straight swoop. So what I like to do is use the tip and kind of go along the edge where the lip liner is, kind of as like a stencil or a guideline rather. So first of all, this lipstick is so pigmented that it covered up kind of the contour. So you could always go back in. I'm gonna forego going back in with the lip liner to contour. I'm just gonna let that dry down. One thing is when you're applying liquid lipstick, try not to smush your lips together because sometimes it can transfer and then make one lip look patchier than the other. You just wanna coat both lips and let it dry down. 
So this lipstick is actually phenomenal. It does not feel dry on the lips and it's not sinking into the lines of my lips like a lot of other liquid lipsticks do. It kind of reminds me of the Jeffree Star liquid lip formula. Um, I actually really love it. And they're not too expensive. They're like, I think like 14 bucks. I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. But it looks phenomenal on the lips. So now that that lip has mostly dried down, you're gonna go in and clean it up. Similar to how you cut the eyebrows to make them just look sharp and clean, you do the same thing with your lipstick. So grab your concealer or your foundation. You wanna pick a color that is close to your skin tone because you're not trying to highlight like you do your under eye. So I'm using the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Macadamia. I'm just gonna dip in with this concealer brush. Any brush that you can get precise with will do, whatever you're comfortable with. And the same way I applied the lip liner and the lipstick, outer to inner on the bottom, inner to outer on the top. I'm going to just outline the lip liner this time and really just clean up anywhere that it might look a little wavy or out of bounds. And then to get really precise on the cupid's bow, I make this weird face. And it allows me to just get really precise lines. So then you can grab your favorite brush or blending sponge or even use your finger and blend that out. I like using the Eco Tools blending sponge because it has this flat edge to it. So I could just kind of go like that, and smudge it out and blend it. And there you have it. That's how you apply the perfect liquid lip. So I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a tip or trick to help you perfect your lipstick routine. And thanks for watching. Until next time.